Hi everyone, my name is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Scarred by Emily McIntyre. This is the second book in her series, but so far they're not connected. They're in different parts of the world and different parts of time. So you can read them in whatever order that you want. You don't have to read them like one, two, three, four. It doesn't matter. I would consider this a fictional historical romance. There is sex in this book, so it's not appropriate for younger readers. Our main female lead's name is Sarah. She is on her way to the castle to meet her future husband, who is uh, King Michael. She is actually planning on assassinating the entire royal family because they have killed her father. Not only have they killed her father, but they're just really mm, ignorant to the lower class citizens who are freezing to death, they're starving, they're poor, they're just not in good conditions and they're treated very unfairly and it's just awful. So Sarah's been training for years on assassinating them. Sarah does meet Michael right away as soon as she gets to the castle, but off in the distance under a tree she sees the second prince whose name is Tristan. Tristan has like this huge scar on his face. So he is more known as like the scarred prince and is not talked highly of. A lot of people make comments of how he goes through women like crazy and just that he's not a good dude. That he has tattoos all over his body, which is very uncommon. So people, especially royalty or higher ranking members of society, look down upon him. Tristan hates his whole family, basically. They've treated him very poorly. The only one who even treated him remotely kind was his father, who died a couple years before the main story takes place. So he feels very alone. Not only that, like his brother Michael tolerates him, but they just, they don't have a good relationship. Tristan is fond of a little boy named Simon that is a son of one of the maids of the castle. He, there's something wrong with Simon that people treat him poorly because he's I guess disfigured in a way or he's not he doesn't look like normal kids so a lot of pe like a lot of kids his own age make fun of him and a lot of adults like the higher society adults just are nasty to him it's really rather sad so Tristan feeling like a black sheep himself also takes care of him and kind of takes him under his wing tells him about like the hidden passages in the castle and is just like a really good uh, male figure to his life. When Tristan sees Sarah for the first time, he gets this peculiar feeling. Like he finds her attractive, but at the same time he tries to play it off that he doesn't really find her attractive and that she's like a dime a dozen, but Sarah is described as being very beautiful. Although Tristan is known to be a shadow or to be not seen a lot throughout the castle or the empire, Sarah keeps running into Tristan over and over again to the point where she's like, are you following me? Like, what is, what's going on here? Even when she sees him from far away under the tree, she has an urge to kind of go to him. I don't know. It's like she's she's drawn to him even though she knows she shouldn't be. So they keep running into each other inside the castle. She gets a guard or she gets someone to show her like the hidden passageway so they meet up there. They meet out in the gardens and over time they end up falling in love with each other or liking each other. Sarah still has the mission to assassinate the royal family and she goes through and she's, you know, she starts killing people. But what she doesn't know is that Tristan is really messed up. Like, he definitely has his own agenda and his own plans. So, 
he doesn't know that Sarah's plan is to assassinate the family. He just knows that there's something kind of going on with her. There's something kind of off about her. So she has her own agenda to assassinate the royal family. And then Tristan has a similar plot. His plot is to take over the kingdom. So he is known as the rebel king. So his plan is to uh, take the throne from his brother. But there are issues along the way. Sarah is hesitant to fully trust Tristan because, you know, she doesn't really have any allies within the castle. It's basically just her and her plan to assassinate everyone. So she has her own plan and Tristan has his own plan. And, you know, you just got to wait and see what happens when they finally reach a breaking point in their relationship and what happens. And mind you, they are going behind Michael's back. So when they meet, they're meeting in private or in secret, or they have long gla glasses, glances, they have long glances across like the dining hall or across the courtyard. They are, you know, fawning over each other from a distance because they could be put to death if Michael finds out that they're intimate or that they're with each other. I really did enjoy this book. I have found so far, I'm on book three of the series. I have found so far that the author is really fond of making comments about how people crack their necks. So like in the first book, the main male character liked to crack his neck. And in this book, one of the main characters liked to crack the neck. And in the book I'm reading now, another main character likes to crack crack their neck. It's it's kind of like one of those funny little things. It's just like, oh, this person's cracking their neck again. <laughs> but in general, I really liked the story and I liked the plot. Um, I don't know if I necessarily like it more than the first book. I did like the first book a lot because of at the end how complex and how everything developed and progressed in the first book at the end. I really enjoyed that. I did like this book because our female lead is very strong and independent and clever. There are some points in the story where I didn't necessarily like what was going on, but in general, as, as a story in, in, in whole, I enjoyed reading it and I would recommend it if you are into more of like an erotic kind of story because there is like a after a certain point there is a lot of erotic sex stuff going on to some degree not insane not an insane amount or anything like super crazy but there is you know there is that aspect of it but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later bye everyone